In our last video, I promised we would figure out how to fix this problem where we resize our window and the presentation is now completely scuffed. Uh, this is going to be using auto commands and we'll get to show a little bit more of how we can sort of uh, make our make our plugins respond to events that happen inside of NeoVim. So maybe you won't need to respond to the exact same ones, but uh, maybe it will still be quite helpful for you uh, so that you can think about how you could respond to other things happening inside of your plugins. So without further ado, let's write some code. The main thing here that we have right now is that when we create all of these slides, right now we're just creating all of the config and everything. We're just doing this all inside of a function called start presentation. So let's start pulling these out and then we'll recall this function again on window resize. So the first thing that we need to do is we need to take this and this needs to be local windows is create flow, um, create window configurations. Okay. And we'll do that. So that's the first thing we need to do. Let's go ahead and go up here and go local create window configurations. That's a function, right? And it's just going to do this. And we're going to return this and we need to go down to where we said local width right here. And we can just go ahead and uh, go back up to here and put this right in this spot. And we don't need that anymore or this. And that's great. Okay. So now what we've got going on here, right, is that when we create this, we're going to get back all of the windows that we wanted. I mean, and this is nice because now we can go ahead and we can sort of take all of these items here and we're going to be able to take all of this and start creating our own stuff. So the thing that we need to do is let's start pulling these into a little bit more um, sort of configure uh, or into like self-contained functions because we're sharing a lot of state right now. So the first thing here that we notice is the main things that we need to keep between sort of redraws is we need to keep our current slide. That's one. And we need to keep um, our current, uh, we need to keep our current, Oh, I just noticed as well now. This is no longer uh, true. We need to go back to this and let's just uh, do that. Okay, so that's good. Uh, when when we're here, what do we need to do now? We have our create window configurations. We create the windows. So this is basically a function of creating all of the current windows. Maybe we might even want to think about sort of pulling this into just one sort of like state configuration and then we display it. Uh, we'll have to see as we get a little further, but... We have this function set slide content. This is good. This function is sort of like independent in a sense, right? Like it's just going to put the, the stuff into the slides. That's good. We have our key maps to sort of iterate us to the next state for each one. And really the only thing that would need to change, right? Is that we need to be able to update the config of all of the windows on resize. So let's go ahead and try and do that right now. And what we can use for this is we have Envim Win and we can do set config. Configures a window layout, right? So this is nice. This is nice because we can use Envim set config to re play all of the different uh, or sort of to reconfigure all of the open windows that we have. So let's go ahead and change. Uh, I think this is Vim resize, Vim resized. Ooh, nice. That's the, that's the option that we wanted, right? So we can go Vim API and Vim create auto command. And we're going to say uh, Vim resized. And let's go ahead and we want to make this be only, we only want to do this once. So let's go ahead and reset our group every time. Yeah, it's okay. Envim uh, create, Envim create our group. That's good. And we'll say present resized because that's sort of the event that we're going to do. And what are we going to do with this event? We'll say callback. What do we want to do? Well, we only want to do this if the current windows are valid. So let's just do something like if not Vim API and Vim win is valid. And let's just say uh, float uh, body float dot win, then return. So we won't do anything if our current windows are not valid, right? Um, we, we don't care to try and do anything about that if this isn't here. So if they are here, what are we going to? And we should also make sure... Yeah, uh, it or uh, body float dot win um, it equals nil. Okay, so if either of those are true, then we're going to return. All right, 
if that's not the case, what do we need to do now? Well, we can go basically for, we can get the new window configs, right? So let's say windows uh, is create windows configurations here. And now we can just go for key. Uh, this is kind of like a kind and config in pairs of windows do. And so this is going to go through each of the different pairs of these. And we go vim api and vim win set config and we have kind okay we'll we'll just write it this way we'll we'll write it slightly different than this um we could do this but it's, it's good it's good this way so we want to go basically body float dot win we're going to set this to windows dot body right and so we can do this for each of the ones so instead of s body we can do um do we call it header I think we called it header, right? Header, header float win, nice, yep. And then we can say, let's say updated, updated, whoops, updated, and updated. And we need to do the same thing for background, right? Which is background float and uh, updated dot background. Okay, so now what should happen is whenever we resize Vim, with NeoVim really, right? Then we're gonna call this function. If these are currently valid, then we'll do this. And if we do this, then we're going to change the configurations for all of these. So we execute this. Uh, let's see. Or global arithmetic here. Uh, okay. 110. Ooh, we don't have width anymore. Got it. Okay. So let's go ahead and do local width is this. Mm, but we'll need to go inside of that for title. We'll redo that every time. Ooh, I think we, I think we found something that I forgot to handle <laughs> earlier. <laughs> Okay, that's fine. Just wait. Just wait. That's okay. We'll probably need to recall set slide content, which is fine because they'll need to reset themselves. Uh, but let's see if that's true in a second. Okay, so now when we resize this, you'll see that this is almost good, except, oh, our title's not dynamic. So really what we need to do is if we're resizing this, the thing we need to think about here is that in our uh, Vim, res or Vim, in our Vim resize down here, where was this again? resized yep right here we need to also then call set slide content current slide so this basically recalculates current uh slide contents okay so that's good this just will give us a chance that when we do this oh ho, 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 the title keeps on drawing itself to the middle beautiful that's great right that's awesome and so that's 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 basically what's going on here and the thing that i wanted to point out for your own custom plugins is this pattern you'll see this a lot and it's really cool if you can just handle these automatically for your users which is like hey this event happens inside of neovim uh, i'm going to check and make sure like that the state is in a way that makes sense and we just update these and it's really cool that they don't have to like reclose and re-update this every time they want to change the size uh, it just works flawlessly and then the other thing to think about as you're doing this is how can i pull sort of functions or ideas into their own function so we can re sort of re-execute them as needed um, instead of hard coding them maybe in your setup or other places that will make it more responsive automatically so that's it for handling auto commands uh next one we'll make a footer put it along the bottom and then maybe throw a little bit more spice into the plugin all right see you guys